This video is going to demonstrate how to correctly set up a Roho cushion while following Barwon Health's hand hygiene policy. The Roho cushion is an air fill cushion with interconnecting air cells. It aims to distribute a person's weight evenly when sitting on the cushion to increase stability and blood flow and prevent the development of pressure ulcers. The aim is for the person to sit submerged into the cushion, not on top. In order to meet hand hygiene requirements, it is important to glove up when setting up a Roho. Rubber gloves will not slide easily under the cushion and may get stuck. To avoid this, wear gloves, then a plastic bag over the top. You will require the cushion, the Roho specific cushion cover and the pump as seen here. The front of the cushion will have the air valve to your right hand side of the wheelchair as shown with the isoflow memory control unit being between the person's legs for easy adjustment. While wearing gloves, ensure the isoflow memory control unit is pushed to the right, so the airflow between sections is unlocked. The isoflow memory control unit controls airflow between the four sections of the cushion. When this is unlocked, the air can flow freely between the four sections. When in the locked position, airflow is stopped, which maintains the person's desired seating position. After unlocking the isoflow memory control unit, turn the air valve to the left to open and attach the air pump, pumping up the cushion until all air cells are inflated. You will know when to stop as the cushion will arch upward slightly. Then close the air valve by turning to the right. Transfer the person so they are sitting on the inflated cushion of their wheelchair. It is important to make sure the person is sitting as they normally would, with correct posture and their feet correctly placed on the foot plates. The person then has to sit here for a few minutes to allow the air to settle. Slightly loosen the air valve, but not enough to let any air out. Then place the plastic bag over your glove. In line with the person's knee, slide your hand up under their bottom, palm down, feeling for their most bony prominence, the ischial tuberosity. If you cannot easily feel the bone, lift the person's leg slightly to feel the bone moving, then return their foot to the footrest. Once the ischial tuberosity is located, while keeping your hand there, loosen the air valve, allowing the air to escape the cushion. As the air is leaving, the person will start to sink into the cushion. You are feeling for approximately 1.5 centimeters of air between the person's ischial tuberosity and the base of the cushion. Turn the air valve to the right to close. Repeat the same process on the opposite side to ensure the person is evenly supported. Make sure the ischial tuberosity does not touch the chair. When the person is sitting with the correct posture, slide the isoflow memory control unit to your left to lock the airflow and maintain the person's position. Ensure you dispose of the plastic bag and gloves as you typically would when completing hand hygiene. This process of correctly setting up a Roho cushion applies to both standing transfer and hoist transfer. Regular checks should be done to ensure there is still sufficient air between the ischial tuberosity and the chair.